we're back at it for Pappy Cellar episode three. So far we've done Knob Creek 15 year store pick, Old Scout Rye four year, E.H. Taylor small batch, E.H. Taylor single barrel, and tonight we're going to bring out a big boy, a heavy hitter, William LaRue Weller from the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection, along with one of the baby brothers, Weller Special Reserve. As I stated before, anything eight or above is going to go into the finals for a blind tasting at the end. These are both weeded bourbons. Excuse my dog if you hear them in the background. This one is 90 proof. And as I stated before, some of these bottles are really old. And uh, that could be a bad thing for some of them that are open because the oxidation in there might have made the liquor a little bit less with the with the uh, evaporation over time. I don't even think they make this bottle any more shaped like this. So this is an old one. Uh, obviously, I believe that William Weller is definitely going to be in my finals. This one is a, coming in at 123.4 proof. Look at it. And the other one, I believe... Well, I know, it was 90 proof. Let's give these a crack. And we're back. This one is the William LaRue Weller. Deep. Uh, it, this Now, this one doesn't smell. I don't get that initial powerhouse kicking your teeth alcohol burn i don't know if it has anything to do with these big wide glasses where you're not getting when you're trying to nose something it's not too overpowering okay now the 90 proof weller special reserve smells a lot more sweeter they're both weeded bourbons. This one smells like uh, caramel corn, vanilla. Definitely smells sweeter. This one definitely smells more bold, robust. I'm just picking up pretty much like some leather. Almost like, actually like some tobacco notes. Oak. Uh, I'm going to go out back tonight and have a cigar. I'm going to have a My Father cigar. Uh, if I smoke down here, my wife will kill me. Here's a little trick for a lot of you that... Uh, have trouble trying to uh, cut your cigar perfectly. One of my friends taught me this a long time ago. An easy way to do this. You take your cutter, put it down on a flat surface, bam. <laughs> Perfect cut every time. Look at it. It cuts the right gauge. The, I mean, the right thickness. It just cuts the cap. It's something if you've never known, if you even smoke cigars. Anyway, let's head out back and I'll give you my thoughts on these. And we're back. Excellent cigar, especially for value for the money. At least my idea of the best way to enjoy a bourbon is with a good cigar. And I'm not allowed to do that downstairs in my cellar, so... See if you can see the distinguish between the colors. This one is the William LaRue Well, our Buffalo Trace Antique Collection. Still not a lot of smell. We're going to go with the special reserve first. 
90 proof. Not much flavor at all. Like I said, unfortunately, with some of these bottles I have, they've actually sat for so long. I think a lot of them, not a lot of them, but some of them might be lost some of their punch and their flavor. This one had absolutely hardly any taste at all. It had burn going down. Maybe, maybe a little bit of caramel corn. Almost like a... Uh, popcorn you'd get it a fair fresh we're gonna give the Buffalo Trace antique collection William LaRue Weller a go you can see it's a lot darker in color Wow. That's what we're talking about. Coats the whole mouth. Uh, strong, but yet sweet and good. Smooth. Still burning. But in a nice way. Uh, picking up like butterscotch, toffee, uh, kettle corn. On the nose, though, I'm not picking up a lot of flavor. Hardly any profile at all. Very sweet, smooth. Like I said, the corn is there. Uh, caramel, toffee, butterscotch. Delicious. <laughs> I was lucky enough to have two bottles of the William LaRue Weller. And this is my second one over the years. Stay tuned for my final thoughts, my review. Obviously, the special reserve is not going to make the cut. I mean, it's not bad, but it, it's it's not one of my top bottles for sure. Hope everybody has a great work week. I will be back again, hopefully Friday night, for another review. Like I said, I want to get through these bottles. Got a lot of new bottles I want to crack. I haven't opened yet. Uh, most people will tell you the shelf life on an open bottle is no more than two years. And uh, I, I say that depends a lot on how much air gets to it and the temperature you keep it in. Obviously, in a dark, cool place, not in the sunlight. My basement stays 65, 70 year round because I have, a, I'll be honest, I have a lot of these bottles that are 8 to 10 years old that were open. <laughs> so that's going to affect them, definitely going to affect them. But thanks for watching. I'll see you again hopefully Friday.